Welcome to Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, home of the 2nd Marine Expeditionary Force, the Marine Special Operations Command, the School of Infantry East, the Marine Corps Service Support Schools, and the Coast Guard Special Missions Training Center. From its modest beginnings in 1941, Camp Lejeune has grown to become the largest amphibious training base in the nation, featuring more than 150,000 acres with 11 miles of beachfront and 78 miles of inland waterfront. Our purpose is simple, support the training requirements of our tenant commands to ensure that our Marines, sailors, and Coast Guardsmen receive the most complete training possible in order to fight and win our nation's battles. Along with our aviation components stationed at nearby Marine Corps Air Station's New River and Cherry Point, Marine Air Ground Task Forces are able to meet training needs ranging from the individual infantrymen up to and including the Marine Air Ground Task Force command element, the MAGTAF. On any given day, Marines are honing their marksmanship skills at the rifle range, practicing small unit tactics, techniques, and procedures at our many fire and maneuver ranges, or conducting supporting arms fires from artillery, mortars, aviation, and naval gunfire. Additionally, these Marines are able to refine platoon and company level battle skills, rehearse raid scenarios, conduct reconnaissance, establish forward operating bases, conduct tactical resupply, conduct refueling operations, execute ship to shore movements and other amphibious operations, practice helleborne operations, conduct operations in urban terrain, or even rehearse skills in simulators prior to executing them in the field. While providing realistic training opportunities is the most important purpose of Camp Lejeune, doing so in a way that does not jeopardize our natural resources, our coastal ecosystems, or the habitat of threatened or endangered species is always a key consideration. The balance between training requirements and resource management is continually reviewed and adjusted, ensuring the long-term viability of both. The Operations and Training Department of Camp Lejeune is the office responsible for training support, and that responsibility is exercised through the Range and Training Area Management Division, or RCAM. As requirements are generated for ranges and training areas, whether they be in support of new weapon systems or changing tactics and techniques, RTAM is involved in every phase from the range planning development process, the handoff to range control, to the sustainment of the finished range or training area. In addition to its responsibilities for range development, range maintenance, training support, RTAM oversees the efforts of its range control branch and the daily management of 98 live fire ranges, 94 training areas, 27 gun positions, 47 tactical landing zones, 6 military operations in urban terrain areas, 2 airfield seizure facilities, 10 engineer training areas, 12 simulator facilities, 4 special use airspace areas, and much more. With three primary impact areas capable of supporting munitions up to and including 155 millimeter rounds, naval gunfire, and inert aviation ordnance, including precision guided munitions, training rarely ceases aboard Camp Lejeune. Close proximity to Fort Bragg also results in training by Army units at Camp Lejeune on a regular basis, as well as Army units from around the nation who train anti-aircraft missile units on Lejeune's shoreline. Camp Lejeune is vital to the nation's security. It isn't paradise, but when is the last time Marines fought in paradise? With its swamps and wetlands, to its thick pine forests and its Pocosins, Camp Lejeune will challenge movement and maneuver, forcing small unit leaders to constantly adapt and overcome. Our hot, humid summers and damp, cold winters inspire a confidence in our Marines and sailors that they can operate effectively anywhere, anytime. Producing well-trained, highly confident, 
and motivated Marines and sailors. That's what we do. It's why we exist. For information on the use or scheduling of ranges or training areas at Camp Lejeune, please contact any of the individuals listed here.